I because it's AMD, I've not got AM DaVinci Resolve working properly with AMD yet. So I'm going to have a go at it. But it's for Linux, it just it's a no go really. It's really tricky to do. It worked better on Intel than it did with um, with uh, AMD. But I might have another look at that. But you know, you can't. You can't, you know, there are going to be some limitations because it's AMD hardware with certain things like there's no CUDA. Um, so if you really want to run LLMs, you can. And we've got Alpaca on here, which allows you to run OpenAI. It'd be interesting to see how that all performs on one of those Steam boxes. So there you go. That's that's Steam. I mean, if you've ever used a K, KD, KDE desktop, it's exactly the same thing. It's not not wonderful for me i'm not a fan of either this or gnome to tell you the truth um i like the amachi way it's set up it's a big jump forward in in how you use an operating system for me it's a, it's really good so but with this i mean it, it, it's not too far away from windows for a normal windows user to sort of you know have an association to it the last thing we want them to do is wipe steam decks have steam boxes and put windows on there god forbid you know so i'm hoping when they release the final version and that's pretty obvious i think what they're working towards is 3.9 now the machines come out next year now this is obviously all built for the steam deck it's this version i've got on here is not built for a desktop so that desktop version of steam will probably be steam 4 and it may have extra bells and whistles but you know who, who knows